Welcome to another episode of Design Cut Build. My name is Mark Humphreys, and today we're gonna to be building a coffee table for our Torchmate training facility. We have a nice little lounge area in there for when our customers come out for training, and we figured that a custom coffee table would look great right in the middle of the couches. The frame of the coffee table will be built out of one and a quarter inch mild steel angle iron that's about an eighth of an inch thick, and we'll use the Torchmate 4400 to cut out the Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems logo that will be on display underneath the glass top. The frame of the coffee table will be mounted to these casters, which will be bolted to the table through some brackets that we also cut on the Torchmate table. We'll then start cutting the Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems logo that will be ground down and painted so that can be on display underneath the glass. So before we get cutting, we just wanted to show you the finished product to actually explain some of the design elements that went into making this thing happen. And one of the biggest one was the Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems logo underneath the glass. And what we did there was we brought in the actual logo itself into our Torchmate CAD program and we used the scan and trace wizard in order to render it out into each individual segment so that we could tape it all together once it's done to make a realistic logo. If you guys want to learn how to use the scan and trace wizard, click this video here. It's in Torchmate University and it takes you through exactly how powerful that tool is and how to use it. So let's start cutting. We just got done grinding and prepping all of our letters for paint. So now while they're in our paint booth getting painted, we're gonna start cutting our angle iron. Most of our angle iron is gonna be cut at 45 degrees to make up the rectangle frame, whereas our vertical supports are gonna be cut at 90 degrees. Once this is all done, we'll get started welding. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, it's time to start welding. We're going to be using the Lincoln Electric PowerMake 210MP with some 7525 mixed gas as well as some 035 solid wire. Once we plug all of those settings into the welder itself, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching this episode of Design Cut Build. To watch the episode where we built the welding tables, click here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And as always, you can find this build project's design files on fabricationforum.com under the DIY project section. We'll see you next time.